Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. This is your boy, Portarox77. Back at you with another video. Check out the description box. There you see the link to my Twitter. Hit me up with a follow there so we could continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you stick around by hitting the subscribe button and, of course, hitting that notification bell so you can get future updates and notifications. And for everyone watching this video, I uh, would, uh, would appreciate it if you hit the like button, all right? And I hope you all stick around. All right. So what are we talking about? XO 2018. Terrible. That's just, there's no other way to describe it. It's terrible. And I'm going to give you the opinion why it's terrible. And we're going to talk about the people who are afraid, or I'm not even going to afraid, people who just simply not calling it what it is. Now, of course, everybody has their opinion. All right. But let's dive deep in that. Is it really an opinion? We're going to find out. All right. So anyway, so yesterday I was on Next Gen 720 stream, right? Myself and a couple of other cast and members, we were watching this two-hour event live, and it was absolutely terrible. It was terrible. Right to me, equal or maybe even worse to PlayStation Experience 2017, all right? And, and why do I think it's terrible? It's simple. You, no one needs an event, right? A dedicated big event to provide the news Microsoft provided yesterday. All right. They talk about adding games to Game Pass. You don't need to do that in an event, right? They talked about acquiring Obsidian. You don't need to do that in an event, right? They talked about what was it? They added Hellblade to, to Game Pass. That didn't need to be held in an event. All right. They show Crackdown completely downgraded from what Microsoft originally showed us in a event. Uh, um, showed us you know a couple years ago with their demo of what they're trying to do completely different now it's an arena that's primarily made of glass and bullshit it's not even the original city that the game is based on it's a completely separate arena that's destructible and whatever all right it's like five on five completely opposite of what microsoft's been advertising with the power of the cloud you know it's so bad that during the same event microsoft showed multiplats of course um, Just Cause 4 and the destruction in that game looks better than what they show for Crackdown. But the crazy part is Just Cause is a big, huge open world. The Crackdown 3 shown is an arena, like in a little small stage arena, which is asinine, which is insane. This is not what they promised at all, right? So, oh, and then they mentioned... You know, just DLC for games that's already been out. And talking about games that's already been out. Forza Horizon 4, Sea of Thieves, State of Decay. No new announcements whatsoever. No new game announcements whatsoever. Not one new game. No new AAA games. Nothing. All right? This big event. No, not, not even a teaser trailer to a big game. You know? Hell, when they announced Obsidian, they didn't even show a teaser trailer of what they're working on. Not even that, like nothing. It's all old games and Game Pass announcements. Right? Excuse me. Here's the thing. You have this big event, right? It's being held on a Saturday. People have been expecting, waiting for this XO event, right? Gamers, for at least a month, maybe more than a month since it's been announced, right? Everybody's taking time out of their schedule, right? So that way, they can see this event. You got big, you know, podcasters, whatever. They're doing live streams for this event, all right? Big Xbox YouTubers, you know, even PlayStation YouTubers, and everyone in between. Everybody's live streaming this for their reaction video, right? Why are we doing this? There is a reason why you got live reaction videos and people streaming this live with the audience, whatever. Because they expect some type of big announcement. What kind of reaction you expect from somebody with a, oh, Hellblade's on Game Pass? Ah! Oh my! Oh my God! Hellblade's on Game Pass! You expect that? Or like, oh, is that really what we do? Is that really what you expected? What did you expect from anything? Let's cut the bullshit here. All right? Let's cut the bullshit. I don't give a shit what excuses. These Microsoft fanboys, and we're going to talk about that. I ain't trying to hear no bullshit from Microsoft fanboys, all right? All right? I don't care who you rep, 
who or who's your favorite platform? I don't care what platform is your preference. Nintendo, PC, PlayStation, back in the day, Sega, doesn't matter. When any of these companies hold an event, all right, every single gamer has an expectation for a new game announcement. That's the main thing we want to see. You cannot tell me you woke up, you know, you know, Microsoft fans, and notice I'm not saying Xbox fanboys. There's a reason for that now, and we're going to talk about that. But you cannot tell me, as a Microsoft fanboy, or, you know, just a lover of Xbox, you woke up this morning, man, I can't wait to see what new Game Pass announcements they have today. Bullshit. Y'all lying, all right? Y'all straight up lying, all right? There's a reason why I'm using the term Microsoft fanboys and not Xbox fanboys, because here's the truth. Xbox fanboys, they're disappointed in this show as well, all right? For two reasons, obviously. Obviously, as gaming fans, gaming fans are disappointed in this show, okay? Xbox fans are disappointed in this show. Xbox fanboys are disappointed in this show. It's the Microsoft fanboys and fans that have no issues with this. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you the difference, okay? And Xbox fanboys are disappointed because, number one, nothing really was great to make Xbox look good. Nothing. There's nothing there. Even the announcement of Syrian holds little weight without an actual teaser trailer to enhance that um, announcement. You know, a simple tweet of, hey, we got Obsidian as a first party developer would suffice. You'd have to spend two hours for that announcement, right? So after this show, the fanboys, they got nothing to use in the console war. Now granted, however you involve in the console war, for me, it's just bullshit and fun. I'm not going out there trying to get people fired. I'm not involving kids like some weirdos are doing. I'm just popping shit over plastic. If that shit bothers you, then I just unveiled an issue you have. Because something in your brain makes you upset at hearing people make fun of plastic. That's a you issue. You're the one that's upset about it. You have to think about that. When somebody comes out and rags on plastic and that bothers you and you hate to hear it, you have to ask yourself, why does that bother me? It's just an inanimate object. So it's something, an issue that you guys have to deal with, right? So anybody who's Xbox fanboy just bullshitting in the console war for the fuckery is no harm, no foul, as long as you don't take it to an area where it doesn't need to be, like doxing, involving people's family, calling people's jobs, you know, threatening somebody, killing somebody, all that weird shit, you know, obviously, right? Well, Xbox fanboys, this show gave them nothing. So they're double pissed. One, nothing was shown to make Xbox look great, right? And two, they ain't got shit to pop shit with on Twitter. They got no nothing to just talk shit with. Nothing. Nothing was given to them. That's Xbox fans and, you know, fanboys. Microsoft fanboys, y'all don't really give a fuck about Xbox. Let's just call it the truth. That's the difference between an Xbox fanboy and a Microsoft fanboy. Xbox, you guys care about the console, right? And you want to use everything you can a console so you could go back and throw in other people's faces and talk shit. That makes sense, right? Microsoft phone boys, Microsoft can announce they'll stop making Xbox and you guys will clap your hand and cheer and you'll be like, woo, it's about time. You, you'll, you'll find a way to match Microsoft's desires, you know, and it's, and, and, I, and it's crazy that it took me so long to realize this because the truth is at one point I thought Microsoft fanboy and Xbox fanboy was interchangeable terms. It was the same thing. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. There are two different creatures now. All right, and it's clearly see you got Microsoft fanboys pretending to be Xbox fanboys. You know what I'm saying? So these Microsoft fanboys, they're not Xbox. You know, we 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 you know we call fanboys bots and shit. They're not bots. They're cattle. They've been branded by Microsoft and they're getting hurdled and milked. They're nothing but cattle. You know what I'm saying? They're just there for the slaughter. All right, they're nothing but prime rim ready to be thrown on the grill and cooked. That's all they are. They're nothing but cattle. These are not Xbox. These are not bots at all. In fact, they're giving the Xbox guys a bad name, and I see that now. All this Microsoft company slaving shit, this is their own group, and we blame the entire Xbox community because of these guys, when in reality, they're not really part of the Xbox. They act like it. They're on Xbox. They're on the party chat. They talk about games, whatever, right? But when the, when the rubber meets the road, when it comes time to criticize Microsoft for making Xbox the console look bad, that's when their true nature comes out. That's when they come out of their shells. That's when they separate themselves from the Xbox community and then they show they ride for the company. That's where the difference is. No Xbox fan is truly happy with this. 
Microsoft fans are because all they give a fuck about is Microsoft looking good in one way or another It's so bad that these Microsoft fanboys are saying oh, we don't need new game announcements until it's ready We don't need teaser trailers What gamer in on any platform would say that? There isn't a gamer out there that would say some crap like that. There is no way you're gonna tell me that you love Xbox but you would hate the fact if Microsoft just showed you a teaser trailer of a new project from one of their studios that they're making. Even a teaser trailer of Fable. You're telling me that that would upset you? No way. All right? The only reason why you're saying that is because Microsoft didn't do it. And because you're Microsoft slaves, you agree with that. You will agree to with whatever Microsoft tells you to. You accept what Microsoft will tell you to. The sad part is this group is getting bigger. And Microsoft is, is leaning towards that group. While you Xbox fans and fanboys, y'all being ignored. They're not listening to you no more. They're catering to this Microsoft fan base, which is sad, right? They could, they could see Xbox go to hell in a handbasket. They don't give a damn. As long as Phil Spencer and Nadia Sadal, or his, whatever his name is, as long as they're happy, that's all that matters. The box is no longer important anymore. Xbox console is no longer important. It's Microsoft that's important to them. Sure, when everything's gravy, they're part of y'all. They're part of the Xbox community. They're part of the Xbox fan boys. You're all right together until it comes down to calling the bullshit that Microsoft's doing. Now, pss, they're not with you no more. And that shit is crazy. Right? I don't see how Xbox, X08, X018 could be defended. No new game announcements. Not one. Yo, before this, a month ago, dudes were hyping... A teaser trailer to Battletoads, a teaser, you know, a little bit of Gears 5, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a teaser trailer to Halo Infinite. Some people at one point was thinking about Fable, but then that got cut off. It was a whole bunch of stuff. Nothing. What's being relegated is this is just a celebration of Microsoft or Microsoft Xbox. What's there to celebrate? I don't know. I didn't see anything in there. Let's put it this way. If two days ago or the day before the event, right? If Microsoft would have released a complete program, a schedule of exactly what they were doing, like it wasn't hidden, it wouldn't be a surprise. If they were to say, hey, we're going to release the schedule of XO18, this is exactly what's going to go down during those two hours. I guarantee a lot of us would have not even bothered to watch it. I, w I would have not went on um, Zaire's stream. I'd be like, nah, because I'm, I'm not doing this for two hours. I see what they're trying to do. It's not even worth it. Listen, as I said, I was on Zaire's stream. I was on Next Gen 720 stream, right? For two hours. What was supposed to happen is after he streamed the live event, right? Then we would cut off his channel and then we would go to my channel for the post conversation event. So everybody was going to go on to my channel and we were going to discuss the aftermath, right? I said, no, bro, I'm not setting this up. I don't want to talk about this, you know, because I'm in Germany. It's one in the morning. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was like midnight or whatever. I'm like, nah, I'm not doing this. It's midnight. I'm not staying here talking about this. I'm not doing this. This is, this is not a waste of my time. I get it. You know, we're going to beef up our channel, make stuff look good. I appreciate the fact that he's going to bring in his audience to my channel. Nah, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. Bad enough it's midnight on a Saturday in Germany and I wasted two hours of this shit. I'm not doing it. So that's why I didn't do it. That's how much of a waste. All right? My issues was the same thing with PSX and if you don't believe me go to my PSX It was like it was like last year. Obviously December time frame I didn't like that crap because again no new game announcements of, of a big impact. It was terrible You got damage control saying well these entitled gamers are expecting too much It's a big event on a Saturday you honestly think the expectation is Game Pass announcement? Talking about DLC to Sea of Thieves, to which if, I'm, if I looked at yesterday was ranked 49th, it's almost being knocked out of the top 50. Soon, Sea of Thieves not even going to be in the top 50 anymore. Most played games. And believe me, top 50 is not a lot because you got games like Sims 4, which is being played more than Sea of Thieves. You got NBA 2K17. Not 18, which came out last year. Not 19, which came out a couple of weeks ago. 17, two years ago. The fact that 18 and 19 came out 
that should completely eliminate anybody playing 2K17 because 2K18 2K18 has been around for a year and 2K19 just came out. 2K17 shouldn't even be on the map, but yet that game is still on Xbox Live Top 50 played and is being played more than Sea of Thieves. And 2K is not on Game Pass. DLC to stay in the K and all this weird stuff. You don't need an event for this or two hour event. Now, here's the thing. If Microsoft put all this together, right? It will be for a reason. Because then at that point, these conversations, these announcements are actually undercard. You ever seen the big title fight? You know, McGregor versus Mayweather, all those big fights. If you're into UFC or boxing, what do you have before the main event? You have three or four undercard fights. Now, why are these undercard fights shown on these big pay per events? Because these undercard fights on their own would not be a pay pay per view event. No one's going to pay $100 to watch these undercard fights. All right? Put that shit on Showtime as a Saturday night or Friday night boxing of the week. But no one's going to pay $100, okay? What people paid $100 for, what people want to see for these main events is the big main event. But guess what? You have these undercards, which is perfectly fine. That's what Microsoft should have done. These two-hour announcements, these are nothing but undercard announcements. All right, cool, whatever, whatever, leading up to the big reveals, which would have been a new AAA game teaser trailer. That's the big thing of XO18. But that's not what happened. It would literally be the undercard fight, and then that's it. No main event. No one's feeling that. And look at the damage control. Oh, it's better than PlayStation X 18. You know what's the truth? No, it's not. It's not PlayStation better than X 18. You know why? Because Sony didn't waste our goddamn time. So whatever Saturday or Friday Sony was going to waste our time with, we actually could do real shit. You could go get a hooker and snort some cocaine. Go to a damn strip club and watch some booty clap. Go to a movie. Go take your wife, girlfriend, husband, and go on a date night. Go in the bathroom and grab some baby lotion and jerk off. Anything is literally more productive than watching a show with not with with the most useless announcements ever There's so much more you could do hell actually play games instead of wasting your two hours There's so much more to do so no XO 18 is not better than PSX 18 because PSX 18 ain't wasting nobody's goddamn time We have better shit to do All right XO 18 is literally two hours None of us can get back for those of you that missed it you are the lucky ones. Even if you're a hardcore Xbox fan, you are lucky. Because whatever you did during those two hours, even if you did nothing, it's more than what you would have gotten if you would have stood for two hours. So for those of you that missed it because you had to do something, you, you, you did good. Because all that shit could have been wrapped up in a 5-10 minute you know, overview video on YouTube. Literally 10 minutes. Everything. Could have just bam, 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 and get it over with. It is the most... Asinine shit, you know what I'm saying? It was just like PSX 17, just asinine and bets. We don't need these events to waste our time. Just do a little 10 minute thing and get it over with. It is, it was terrible, right? And these Microsoft fanboys, I'm gonna tell you, these Microsoft fanboys are killing the Xbox brand. I honestly do not believe Microsoft will compete gaming wise with Sony. That shit with Nintendo and Sony, they're not gonna be on their level. I already I already see that it's not gonna happen. Why? Because no one's telling them What they're doing is mediocre The loudest voices are yeah. You're doing fantastic. Yo, you had a whole crowd in the stadium going see a thieves see a thieves see a thieves the whole crowd, right? Yet go to type in Google Xbox Live most play games and click on the first link I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not making this up. Go to Google right now. Xbox Live Most Played Games. Just type it in Google. You'll see the link that says Microsoft.com. Click on it. And then you'll see the list of the top games played. You're going to see Sea of Thieves all the way on the bottom. And then take a look at the games above it. Sims 4, 2K17. Games that is clearly not a lot of people are playing. So you could tell the bottom, like the last 10 games, last bottom 10 of the top 50, there's really not a lot of users playing these games because you could tell the games above it, there's not that many people playing those games. 
But yet, see a thieves. See, uh, no one really gives a shit about that, bro. Like, come on with the facade, bro. Let's just stop. But these Microsoft fanboys are just killing the brand, bro. I'm telling you. Listen, I'm a PlayStation fan. That's why I ragged on PlayStation 17. It's probably why Sony didn't have a PSX 18. Because they got ragged on. Don't do an event showing nothing. Don't waste our time. If you ain't got nothing, oh well. Then you ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? This ain't one of those, you know, when life throws you lemons, make lemonade. Th that's, this ain't it. That ain't it at all. Right? So in the end, I'm going to cut this short. Been 20 minutes, a little bit too long, a little longer than I expected. XO18 was a disaster. And for you Xbox fans and Xbox fanboys, you need to watch out for these Microsoft fanboys. You need to watch out for them. Because they're pretty much, you know what I'm saying, frauds in wolves' clothing. They're a bunch of frauds hanging around y'all, pretending to be like y'all, right? They're, they're, they're grouping with you guys, right? It's all about Xbox. Xbox is the best box until Microsoft does something to make Xbox look terrible. They're not going to side with you then because they're going to side with Microsoft. They're going to side with Phil. They're going to side with Nadia Sadal. They're going to they're gonna fight. They're gonna side with the corporation over their council. You best believe it. They're not with you with your council. They don't have the same vision expectation as you do. So you guys need to watch out. Sure, you could say PlayStation fans, whatever, whatever. But we're not infiltrating your house. You know where we stand. You know what side of the fence we on. We're clearly visible. All right? These dudes... They're, they're mixed around you. They're wearing the same clothes. They're doing the same shit. They're in your party chats. They're all in there. All right? But the way you can find out who they truly are is when you see Microsoft make bad decisions that makes Xbox look bad. That's when you ask them, how do they feel about that? And if they're damage controlling it, if they see nothing wrong, if they talk about Microsoft's money, or if they're talking about the bigger scope, or if they're talking about, well, these are consumer friendly decisions, now you know where they fucking truly stand. And you, you know, and I'm and I'm sorry to say, all right, Xbox, even Nintendo, those aren't my primary platforms. They are, they will always be, for the most part, secondary platforms. Because at the end of the day, I would get them just for gaming experiences. I can't get on PlayStation. That's how I see those platforms. You guys, you Xbox fans and Xbox fanboys, those are your consoles. That is your preferred place to play games. So you need to watch out because those dudes are screwing up your brand. Bad. And you guys need to develop a bigger voice because they're overshadowing you guys. They, they pretty much are the voice of Xbox when they don't give a shit about the box in the first place. They may pretend to. They may be posing to. But the reality is they're not. So you need to watch out. Anyway, this is your boy Porterock77. Hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think and hit me up on Twitter. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I want to say happy Veterans Day to all my fellow vets out there. You know, I appreciate and thank you for your service. And I know that's normally uh, a North American, you know, a U.S. holiday. But I want to say I have I trained with um, a lot of a lot of um, foreign uh, military service from the U.K., Israel, and all different types of world. You know, whatever. And I want to say. Uh, you know, appreciate everybody who, who stands up and believe and defend their country, okay? But anyway, this is your boy, Porterbox77. You guys take care. You have a good one. And I'm out to play some games. Peace.